In addition to the stepped walls and fit walls to roof commands, you can also manually add and remove vertices from the tops and bottom of walls, allowing you to reshape them by hand to any form you desire. Selecting a wall object in 3D view, right isometric for this example, and then selecting the 3D reshape tool from the 3D modeling toolset will make the selection handles move from just the ends of the wall to the corners and midpoints. You can drag these points up and down freehand with the first mode, Reshape 3D Walls, of the 3D Reshape tool. Note that this movement will always be locked to the Z axis when using this mode, so you don't need to concern yourself with locking your movements with the Shift key to keep it from moving in X or Y. The second and third modes of the 3D Reshape tool allow you to add or subtract peaks in the top and bottom of the wall object, very similar to how adding and removing vertices in a 2D polygon works. With the second mode, Add 3D Wall Peak, selected, what we need to do to add another vertex is to split one that already exists. In this example, we'll hover over the selection handle. You'll see the selection icon change to an arrow splitting two selection handles apart. This indicates that if you click and drag, you'll be able to move a peak away from the original and set it to the desired location along the wall and set the height you'd wish. With the third mode, Delete 3D Wall Peaks selected, we can remove undesired vertices from a wall, as you can see here. Note that you can only remove additional peaks that have already been created. You cannot remove the two wall endpoints, nor the midpoint. This modification will work identically on both straight and round walls. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to visit kbase.vectorworks.net for more video tech tips and other technical info. Thank you and have a great day.